What's happening, everybody? It's your boy, DJ. It's your boy, AJ. And you already know, this is The DNA Show. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like just because, and hit that comment section. Today, we got a super dope pack. We got the Airship, and we got the AJ OG1. Yes, this is about to be fun. Let's get into it. All right, so let's go ahead and start with 1984 before Ooh. we get into 85. Tell them a little bit about this shoe. Okay, so we got the Airship. This is the first shoe that MJ came into the league with. So I feel like uh, he was in negotiation with a lot of people at that time. Right? Yeah, yeah. So he was in negotiation with Adidas. And he really liked Adidas more than Nike. So he was rocking the Airship. They didn't come out with the AJ one yet. So Nike had a few shoes around that time. The Sky Force, the Air Train, and the Legend. And Peter Moore was one of those designers that came in with this shoe right here and tried to make a staple into the new game of designing sneakers. With the white and red version of the airship came the black and red version. Mm -hmm. That version was infamous in the league. They banned it. They said, get this out of here. And this commercial then came along. And so a common misconception with the AJ1 is that the bread colorway was the banned colorway mm -hmm. in the league. But no, it was actually the airship that was banned and they transitioned that marketing scheme into the Air Jordan 1. Right. And here we have the OG colorway. So this was actually a little bit different to me. I've never seen this colorway before. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm foolish. I feel like this is like the storm blue in a red version and they've never actually OG this colorway before. And they didn't use the OG band colorway from this. So I'm trying to figure out what the concept fully is behind this package. So I think just introducing the airship so that the new heads kind of get an idea mm -hmm. of where it came from in relation to the Air Jordan 1, I think was really important. Okay. And no, I don't think we've seen this colorway before. There might've been samples with the all red Air Jordan uh, AJ1, but I have not seen this colorway being produced. Not any original releases or anything no. like that. And we've seen the Nike Dunk, a part of the college pack right. that came out in, uh, I think, 05 or mm -hmm. so. And this kind of reminds me of that, but I haven't seen it on the Air Jordan 1. With the red swoosh, I mean, you replaced that with black and you got a Chicago. All right, so the AJ1 gets enough shine. Let's go ahead and put these aside and let's talk about the airship. So looking at the owner's manual here on the Nike airship, this is kind of cool, just breaking down the shoe and it shows you what it's made out of, the midsole, a short history behind it. Kind of like bringing a packet to life on what you would see if you were to buy it off a of sneakers app and they have the same info, but now you have it here with the shoe. So I think this is a cool little touch to go with the shoe. So this is my first time actually having a pair in hand and I do not believe that they've ever retro this shoe. They kind of brought the Air Jordan 1 sole to the sneaker. This is an OG, so I'm assuming yeah. they already had the Air Jordan 1 sole. So it's not the Air Jordan 1 sole. It is the Airship sole that now the Jordan 1 has. One thing that I notice is this like, locked down toe portion here where they have flaps on the medial side and the outside yep. where you'll then tie your laces and then it'll you know bring that portion of the sneaker tighter so then it locks the it in a little bit yeah yeah <laughs> uh, and then i also realized that the leather quality on these is actually really really really, really nice. nice yes very soft with the sticker in there on the inside of the foot. So that's a cool little hit as well. Definitely gives you those OG vibes, but then bringing you to 2019. So I, I can't be mad at that at all. Not at all. I would have expected for the shoe to be a little higher. I felt like shoes back then yeah. had a higher Very cut, high. um, but this is high top for nowadays. And um, overall, I think it's a really, really clean shoe. If this shoe released by itself, I wouldn't want anything to do with it, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. But because it is part of a dope pack and it has amazing history, this will be a cop for me for sure. So now on to the OG Jordan 1, whatever you like to call it. These are actually very interesting. First thing that I can say, I'm disappointed in the leather quality compared to the Airship. Those were very, very nice. These are kind of plasticky. I'm super excited seeing photos of this colorway because we've never seen this colorway before. I'm also super excited because of the OG look that it's supposed to have yeah, compared to uh, the most recent releases that we've seen. Well, I mean, we haven't seen it since the OG. So yeah. um, first things first, I would like to say that the cut, like you were saying, I would have expected to be a little more, to be a little higher, more dramatic. Yeah. Um, and then also, um, as far as the leather quality goes, it's not really what I expected it to be. When they were saying the OG cut, right? OG feel, I was thinking like, 
real leather nice. and it doesn't necessarily feel like that. Other than that, it's a really, really clean shoe. So for people that have wide feet, I'm also very concerned for you if you're actually looking to wear this shoe because they went with that OG cut and a lot of people know back in the day, what did they say? Nike used to make narrow shoes and some people still say that to this day. But if you're looking at this shoe as we compare it here to the newer retro of the Air Jordan 1, you can tell that is a lot more narrow and then obviously you can see the differences between the details on the outsole, but the narrow part of the outsole that might hurt your foot. So that's just something to take in counter if you're looking to wear this shoe and you have a wide foot. Most definitely. So one thing I found was interesting that the only black part on the shoe is the Wings logo. Mm -hmm. As we know, most Chicago colorways do sport more black on the shoe than what we see here, but I am not mad at the fact that they did this yeah. colorway. The fact that it's a new colorway. Um, if they had a Chicago in the pack, we're just talking about pure hype pure uh value of the right, pack right i think the, the pack definitely would have been more valuable but right. i'm glad that they introduced a new colorway to us and it's not necessarily something new per se but it's definitely something a tad bit different and i do appreciate that i definitely think they have a lot of options when it comes to jordan one packages of loan we have seen some dope packages that incorporate one pair of Jordan 1s, multiple mm -hmm. pairs of Jordan 1s. Mm -hmm. Which ones do you guys think are the best? Is this one of the best packages with the Jordan 1s? Drop a comment down below and let us know what you think. I'm still in love with that old love, new love pack. That's just, for me, memories, high school, like that time alone, mm -hmm. like that pack was fire. I still think that might be one of the best Jordan 1 packs out. <laughs> I think, uh, Probably for me, I would say the doing the right thing Jordan 1 pack was super dope. And I think it was under uh, underappreciated back then um, because they did come out as individual, sh individual shoes, right. but it was an OG colorway and not many people knew that. Those purple um, ones. So the, yeah, the purple ones, white and green, Those white and clean. red. Uh, there was probably a couple other colorways that I'm not naming, right. but I thought that was a super dope yeah. pack. Overall, obviously there's a lot of dope OG cuts, OG hits on the shoe. We would prefer better quality when it comes to this sneaker. You guys will be able to make your judgment as well. And again, we don't know what the release date is on these. If you guys know, drop a comment down below because we're still trying to figure it out. Yeah, I just found out what the pack is name and I already forgot it. What's the pack name? Uh, the beginning. New beginning. New beginning. New beginning new, pack. New beginning pack. Yeah. There you we got go. BMP pack, <laughs> beginning moment pack. Right. Now you got the new beginnings pack. What so, if they did a band pack though, like an actual band pack, and they did the black and red with the Chicago, the, fire. the bread? Absolutely fire. That would be crazy. I would really like that. That would be crazy. So the packaging. Let's get into the packaging real quick. Can't forget that. So, I've never seen the OG box of the airship. I'll just put that out there. Yep. But I'm assuming like this is it. Right. So, it has the newer Air Jordan 1 box. So, you have uh, on the left hand side, 1984 to commemorate the airship and 1985 for the Air Jordan 1. You have that uh, graph paper look on the airship. And then on the right hand side, you have the OG logos with uh, the Jordan 1. So both of them come with replacement laces or extra laces. Yeah, that's why they on both of them. Based off of past pricing for Jordan packs, I would assume that this pack is gonna come in at mid threes. I would say 350. What do you think? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of thinking it might be lower, and they might actually like take care of the people just because it's a Jordan one mm. that hits at 160. And this shoe right here, I could see it maybe being like 100 bucks. That puts it at 260. Mm. So maybe like 285, 300. That'd be great. I, I think that. that's a realistic retail price. Yeah. But 350, <laughs> they could go to 400 and probably still sell. Yeah. So I could believe why you come in with that price as well. I just feel like with the packaging and everything, I think right. 350 might be it. Okay. So there is no suggested retail price for this pair yet. Um, there's no tag on here. So we don't know exactly how much the price is going to be. Sorry for right. that. But that's what my guess is. Hopefully it's somewhere on the lower end, so. Please. <laughs> I'm going for the pack though, I need the pack. Yeah. So, um, we're gonna have to go ahead and return this one. And in the meantime, I'll be dreaming of this pack. I will rock the air shell. I feel like I'm gonna make it work, you know what I'm saying? I can't saying? do Just the white I shoe, bro. You know? I can't do the white shoe. Do you think the air, do you think the airship is gonna have any value separate of the Air Jordan 1? Like if they split the pack? Just, you know, because back in the day for the CDPs, we used to like split the packs, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. If you got the lower number, you was probably better off. 
I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna pull this one like the Pantone pack and the 29s wasn't hitting for nothing. I'm gonna say the airship ain't hitting for nothing. Yeah, there's gonna be those OG heads that love it, yeah. but they'll be able to get it for a good price. That's great. I think everybody will be going for the ones. That's great. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And I'm gonna be going for the ones probably, <laughs> just the ones. So what do you guys think about this package? Drop a comment down below. Let us know how you guys feel. Is it dope? Is it not? Is it worth it? Do you know what it's worth? All those questions. We got answers, you got answers, you name it. Drop some comments down below. So, I know the OG heads would not mind splitting the pack with the airship going their way, yeah. and the young heads splitting the pack and the Air Jordan 1 going another way. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Air Jordan 1 is gonna be worth more than the airship, but my question is, I wonder if the airship is gonna be worth much at all right. when it's split right. out of the pack. I'm interested to know what the value would be for the whole pack. We'll see, and it really all depends on how many pairs are being released. Right. I honestly do not think that this is gonna be a general release pack. I think it might be really difficult to get. Hopefully not. And yeah, so Jordan let's see. Price up real quick too. And so let's see what Jordan Brand has in store for it. So we appreciate you guys. We'll have more heat for you on the way. You know what I mean? We got some event yep. videos coming. Yep. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that comment button. There is no comment button. So that's kind of crazy. It's Cause like, how are you gonna hit that comment button when it's not down there? It's like, but, a, it's like a post comment. Uh, so go. it's still a button you can hit down there. So somewhere. go ahead and <laughs> get in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 15,000 uh, subscribers too. We, we did that. There. We did that. We it's there. here right now. It already happened. It's awesome. I man. guarantee you by the time this video is uploaded, we already hit it because we're like three away right now. So I know we hit it. Go ahead. Let us know 20K. what you think about the pack. Hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you guys. Hit that like. Thank you. Yeah.